We need humor more than any other time in the history of this planet. I mean, you, you know what's going on in the world just as much as I do. And I was very fortunate growing up because no matter what challenge that life threw at us when we were growing up, my mom and dad had this incredible way of helping us to laugh off the fear. Okay, they instilled 95% of the fear, but they helped us to laugh it off. <laughs> my dad was a great man. Uh, my dad was a psychologist, not licensed. <laughs> Believe me, not licensed. Like every other father, self-appointed. I don't know what happens to men when they get married and they have kids. They think they have to know the answer to everything. And even if they don't, they make it up and it always sounds good to us. My, my dad wore a lot of hats. He also thought he was king of the house. I was raised in a very tough neighborhood in Brooklyn. Very tough. And, and when we were teenagers, we were getting in trouble. And my dad very simply had to lay the law down. And I'm glad he did. Do you remember hearing anything like this when you were living home with your parents? You're living in my house. All right, tough guy, you're living in my house, you're living under my roof, I pay the bills, you do what I tell you to do as long as you're living in my house. You, you're sitting in my chair, you, get your butt out there and mow the lawn. Hey, it ain't my lawn. <laughs> now, now you're a part of the lawn, what do you think about that? <laughs> and of course, I couldn't keep my mouth closed, and I know you're thinking, shocker. <laughs> my brothers would always tell me, shut up, what's the matter with you? Keep your mouth closed, just don't say anything. Great advice, but I had a problem. Actually, I still have the problem today. The problem was when I was a kid, if I, don't, I didn't care. If there was a punchline there when my parents were reprimanding me, I didn't care. I didn't care about the repercussions. I was gonna say something. <laughs> the, the most trouble I ever got in with my father was the first time I lied to him. And he looked at me and he said, what kind of idiot do you think I am? <laughs> and my brother's going, no, don't go there, no. I said, well, dad, what are the categories? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you got a blithering idiot, you got a stupid idiot. Oh, <laughs> my brother's going, I told you, you shouldn't have said anything. And I'm like, yeah, but that was worth it. Did you hear that? Write that down. <laughs> Jeez, that was funny. Even the old man was laughing at that. Write it down. <laughs>